Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly, and I'm so glad you're here with me today. Thanks for coming back. If you've been with me before, if you're brand new, I'm so glad that you are here. Today, I'm gonna to be reviewing the book, The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Of course, of course, this is a very famous classic book. And I had so many thoughts and feelings evoked in me when reading this book. It is about a man named Dorian, of course, who has his picture painted by a dear friend of his, Basil. They're very close and Basil, who is painting his picture, is very obsessed with Dorian in um, a strange sort of way. He, he almost like worships the ground that Dorian walks on. And in the beginning of the book, um, Basil and Basil's friend, Lord Henry, are discussing Dorian and Basil confesses just how he feels like Dorian Gray is his muse and that he is everything that is like pure and wonderful and good in this world and that it's the best painting he's ever done, but that he knows that he projected too much of how he feels about this man as his muse and that he thinks that he is like the best person ever in this painting. And Lord Henry meets Dorian and everything changes in, in Dorian from then. And when Dorian sees the painting, he and his vanity is, is very, very selfishly says, I can't believe that I'm gonna get grow, grow older and this painting is not. And I just wish that everything would go age-wise, go into the painting, not me. And so you can imagine maybe what might happen in the story after he makes a statement like that. I think the story is pretty well known, but I won't go any further into that. I don't want to spoil anything. But Lord Henry is just a very bad influence on Dorian and Basil stops being a, as close to him after that. And the, the path of Dorian's life goes down from being just kind of a normal, nice -ish, but somewhat vain guy to being someone who is a bad influence on everyone he meets. And the painting is affected by this in a very interesting way. So I do feel like it was a good read. I loved how <laughs> you could just tell the times. You just have to remember the times that this is written in. A lot of times they admit that certain characters are very prejudiced. It's funny how they were talking about American women. <laughs> it's like they were saying like all the American, all the nice English boys are marrying American women and they're terrible. And, you know, it was really funny. And, you know, it was like talking about I, I remember them talking about like uh, one of the characters, a sailor that was going to be going to Australia. And it's like, why would you ever want to go to Australia? Now everybody wants to go visit Australia. So it's just, it was interesting to see the times. But I think the themes of this book that everyone should understand and know in this life is first of all, we shouldn't worship another human being. Second of all, vanity is very bad. Uh, the Themes that I really got from it are you need to be very careful of your company as well. That was another one. Um, and I just feel like it, it takes you and it makes you think, gosh, we need to be careful what goes into our minds and comes out of our mouth and what we do to our life and how people that we have relationships with affect us as human beings and how, of course, we should be kind to everyone, but we should be very careful who we bring into our inner circle. So that is just some things I've been thinking about and toying around with and, you know, just thinking about how, how a lot of the problems started with the bad company and the worship of other humans. It's just not healthy. So I would definitely recommend this read. It did take me mm, maybe a, like 20 or 30 pages to really start to get into it. Sometimes when you're reading language in another time, you just have to acclimate yourself. And, you know, of course it's in English, it's not a different language, but you know, they spoke differently. And I believe this was the 1880s, 1890s that this book was written. So different time, different language, different prejudices. Of course, we always have to take that into account. One last thing that I just want to mention is we are not meant to be idle people. We are meant to work and do things that are fulfilling. This is a lot 
of a story of upper class people that didn't need to work or do anything. Most of us don't have that problem, but you know, we all will come to a time in our life where maybe we will have less going on than others. Is try to find good things to fill our time in our life with. So that's my quick little review of the picture of Dorian Gray. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that you are reading a lot. All my social media information will be in the description box for this video. And if you like this, please feel free to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.